and finally on the package today. Outbreak of the coronavirus took the world by surprise, resulting to the shutdown of several businesses and industries globally. But with the gradual reopening of activities across the globe, many business owners and entrepreneurs have come up with new ways in order to stay relevant in the pandemic era. In a chit chat via Skype, beauty expert, author, and entrepreneur Isang Obot shared some tips on how the beauty industry can survive in the COVID-19 era and more. Um, I would just start with saying that yes, the COVID-19 pandemic has been very impactful to all entrepreneurs, not just in the beauty industry. Um, you know, it's affected everyone from you know hospitality to just normal day-to-day -day work. And um, it's been great, you know, um, because for me personally, as a business and as an entrepreneur, I've been able to re-strategize and focus on more on the makeup product side of things rather than the makeup artistry side of things. You know, it just meant re-strategizing. It has been difficult. It's been challenging, um, but it's been great in terms of re-strategizing and thinking about what works with the business. What can we do? You know, as soon as the pandemic is over. Looking at women, what would you be? What would be your advice to them to you know to still stay healthy, stay protected, and still look good? Yeah, absolutely. So I touched upon that. You know, in the pandemic, everyone's on these virtual Zoom calls, Skype calls, and whatnot. So people are still looking at your face and how you present yourself. And because my uh, makeup business, aside from the service, I provide lipsticks as well and yeah it's great because people still wear lipstick people are still buying cosmetics you know I buy cosmetics all the time so you know I'm still trying to put my best face forward people are interviewing during this time for um, new jobs and new employers so I think it's always great to to look presentable I think, uh, I'll, after this interview I might have to get one of those because lately <laughs> I don't wear makeup so I mean my lips should pop when I'm having virtual meetings like this so just your parting words to general public to other entrepreneurs like yourself and to youth and um, people young as yourself who are doing great things i would say don't give up if you're passionate about something keep going keep on knocking on the door it will surely open at the right time and work hard nothing ever comes easy so definitely work hard and keep on pushing persistence is a great thing to have Okay, thank you so much, Isang, for your time. It was really a wonderful time talking to you on this part of the show. And I hope that you will get to listen and learn one or two from our conversation. And I wish you all the best with your book and your makeup line. I definitely will patronize you. But on a low cost, of course. <laughs> well, depending right, from the expert, the pandemic is not an excuse to look shabby because your first impression is most times the best and only impression. And that's it for entertainment and lifestyle. I am Se Mishima. Thanks for watching.